we gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. May dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. With humble heart, together we say, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, For three crimes of Israel and for four, I will not revoke my word because they sell the just man for silver and the poor man for a pair of sandals. They trample the heads of the weak into the dust of the earth and force the lowly out of the way. Son and father go to the same prostitute, profaning my holy name. Upon garments taken in pledge, they recline beside any altar and the wine of those who have been fined, they drink in the house of their God. Yet it was I who destroyed the Amorites before them, who were as tall as the cedars and as strong as the oak trees. I destroyed their fruit above and their roots beneath. It was I who brought you up from the land of Egypt and who led you through the desert for forty years to occupy the land of the Amorites. Beware, I will crush you into the ground as a wagon crushes when laden with sheaves. Flight shall perish from the swift, and the strong man shall not retain his strength. The warrior shall not save his life, nor the bowman stand his ground. The swift of foot shall not escape, nor the horseman save his life. And the most stout-hearted of warriors shall flee naked on that day, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember this, you who never think of God. Remember this, you who never think of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? Remember this, you who never think of God. When you see a thief, you keep pace with him. And with adulterers, you throw in your lot. 
To your mouth, you give free rein for evil. You harness your tongue to deceit. Remember this, you who never think of God. You sit speaking against your brother, against your mother's son. You spread rumors. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. Remember this, you who never think of God. Consider this, you who forget God. Lest I rend you, and this be no one to rescue you. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes right way, I will show the salvation of God. Remember this, you who never think of God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to cross to the other shore. A scribe approached and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nets. But the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But Jesus answered him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their dead. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. As we continue our journey on the 13th week, in ordinary time, every day is all about our journey with God. Every day, my dear brothers and sisters, is all about our journey with God's purpose or plan. And we are here to possess the gifts of life. Binibigyan po tayo ng buhay na mula sa Diyos May buhay tayo araw-araw upang ito'y maranasan natin at pangako sa atin ng ating Panginoon ang buhay na ito hanggang magpakailanman. As we embark our life every day, rising with the spirit, with the spirit that we move and live, navigating or directing to fulfillments of our nature as a likeness and image of our God. Of course, His goodness, generosity, mercy, compassion, and many more that attributes to our God. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we have to showcase the very presence of God in us. And through our brothers and sisters, 
It is very nature or simple and yet demanding and heavy to comprehend in a way. But we need to accept this reality of our presence or our existence today. This is the way we live, my dear brothers and sisters, to showcase the attributes of God every day in our lives. That's why in our gospel today, Jesus inviting us all. This is an invitation for all of us that never fails every day. Follow me. Yes, address his invitation, each one of us. An invitation that corresponds the invitation that bear tantamount for all of us, however, corresponds to an answer very personal that we should be mindful every day in our lives. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are invited by Jesus to be with Him, to be a disciples, to follow Him. What an awesome privilege and an awesome responsibility as well. It is because to follow Him carries with a certain urgency and immediate response, or there is always a response in a positive action or a positive disposition. Mother, brothers and sisters, to embrace seriously, to follow Him, is not an easy task, it's not an easy one to embrace in our lives, that we generously hand over our very will to Him unconditionally, giving oneself without any reservation or hesitation or doubts because it is rewarding and there is content contentment in our life. My dear brothers and sisters, we are all agree that we cannot be measured by the quantity, the reward of Jesus by following Him every day. Following and serving the Lord is not something to be delayed or postponed or to put aside in our lives. Minsan po, ang pagsunod natin kay Jesus, ito ay pang-araw-araw na gawain na hindi dapat kinakalimutan at hindi po tayo gumagawa ng mga rason upang hindi ito sundin araw-araw. My dear brothers and sisters, pinapaalala po sa atin ang pagtawag sa atin ng ating Panginoon at ang ating tugon ng pagsunod sa Kanya ay gawain natin ito araw-araw na hindi dapat natin ito kinakalimutan. It is our decision every day that we have to do now. Hindi dapat ipagpaliban araw-araw natin itong ginagawa sa buhay natin. In a concrete way, to be faithful, to observe the invitation of God with heart, ano po ang pinapagawa sa atin? Always remember the Ten Commandments and many more. Kailangan natin itong sundin sa buhay natin. The Ten Commandments, the basic no, po, principle that the Lord wants us to live every day. Do not something to put off instead to put on until our earthly life now. We have to obey and to put and to live out truly. We need to observe and understand wholeheartedly with consistent mind mindset. That is why in our responsible salam today that we have, my dear brothers and sisters, reminds us of our desire to put on God always our life. In a way, ano pong sabi natin? Remember this. You who never think of God, minsan, hindi po natin iniisip ang Diyos. Hindi po natin binibigyan ng oras at pagkakataon sa buhay natin. 
we set aside God in our life. But today, in our gospel, we are all invited to follow Him every day. Kailangan natin sundin ang ating Panginoon. Kailangan natin isabuhay ang pagtawag niya araw-araw. The other side of this, the presence of secularism seems to be the greatest enemy of this call to us nowadays. Para po bang ang, ang pagtawag ng Diyos sa atin, na po, pinapalitan natin ng makamukundong, makamundong bagay, hindi po natin siya pinapansin. We cannot deny again that we are also or entertaining this in our life. Worldly mindset. Secularism that we have right now. The mentality that we have. And sad to say, no po, ito yung ating mindset at this time. The people of the world. Tayo ay mga tao dito sa mundo. People of the world. Swallowed up by its allurements instead of poster the ideal of Christian in the world, being children of God. Nakakalimutan na po natin ito sa buhay natin. We are creating the people of the world, not being Christian in the world or being children of God every day. That's why the very invitation of Jesus in our lives today is an upward movement, Mother Bob's insisting. Going forward is not to delay. Kailangan natin itong sundan ang pagtawag ni Jesus. Kaya po, muli, as the Lord telling us today to follow Him, ang pagsunod kay Jesus ay pang-araw-araw nating gawain. Hindi kinakalimutan at minsan maraming dahilan. And this is our prayer for today, that we able to be faithful to listen the call of God for all of us, His invitation to follow Him faithfully in our actions, in our work, in our family, in our relationship, within our community. Truly, we foster that we are all children of God, sumusunod sa kalooban ng Diyos araw-araw. Amen. Please stand. May dear brothers and sisters, we bring our needs before God, our Father, whose Son has gone before us and has called us to follow Him. With confidence, we pray for the grace to accept that calling. And every petition we say, Father, give us the grace to follow your Son. Father, give us the grace to follow your Son. That the leaders of the church and all those engaged in preaching the Word of God may persevere in their commitment to follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give us the grace to follow your Son. That our community may be renewed from day to day through faith in the Word of God, calling them to a better life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give us the grace to follow your Son. That those of us who have lost hope because of our sins may realize that Christ, our leader, walks with us and carries our burden. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give us the grace to follow your Son. That those who are weakened by sickness or infirmity may be assured of God's comfort through the care and support of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us the, the grace to follow Father, your yes. Son, that the dead who followed Jesus may enter God's presence forever in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us the, the grace, grace to follow Father, your yes. Son. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. God, our Father, in our desire to follow in the footsteps of your Son, make us one in mind and heart to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Bless it, you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness you have received already offer you fruit of the earth and work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of the human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for in the goodness you created man and when he has justly condemned and mercy you redeemed him. To Christ our Lord, through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May your voices we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed, holy Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy their farthest gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer your Lord the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have been worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, may be God and so on by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and will have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Of mercy us all, we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages. We are meant to be coerced to eternal life and a place to glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Restly grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but say, only the word, say the word, and, and my, my soul, soul shall be, be healed. May the body and blood of Christ give us life and a life. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord. We pray so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh.